Alrighty, hello, uh, I'm Noah. I'm a second year student at Illinois State University, uh, majoring in digital media art. And I'm over here at Kansai Gaida. Uh, you can see this is my room. It's a bit of a sort of a cubicle, but you know, it's, it's really space efficient, which is nice. Um, I don't know like how much of a tour would be merited, but it's really just uh, like underneath the bed. If you have two big suitcases, they'll both fit under there. So I wouldn't be too worried about like maximizing the amount of space in the room with like a small luggage or anything like that. Um, but yeah, as far as why I chose Kansai Gaidai, uh, if you look through ISU's offerings for the study abroad program, you'll see that Kansai Gaidai is the only one without a language prerequisite. That's also a full semester study abroad program. There's some over the summer that are, I guess, more like tours, I guess. Like you're studying, but you're moving around the country usually with a professor, uh, and it might not be offered all the time because it is dependent on faculty and whatnot. Uh, but Kansai has been, um, it's been really great. Um, when I was looking into it, I mean, you can see on the website, uh, UE is where most students stay. Uh, if you're more advanced in your Japanese skills, you can stay in the Seminar House 4, which is, they call it the Japan House now, I think. But you live with a roommate, whereas this is a single dwell dwelling. Um, and I have uh, I, a friend, Isaac, who's staying in the Seminar House. I have to, like, not say last names for the security reasons or whatever. Um, and he said that, yeah, he has a roommate who's also... I think maybe he's German, but he speaks a good deal more Japanese, so he's been learning from him, and it's been a pretty solid experience. Um, but they do recommend you have a little bit stronger Japanese skill to live over there, uh, and it's also on the other campus. This is on Gotenyama. Uh, Seminar House is on Nakamiya, which is closer to where your classes will be, so if you don't like walking as much or you just want to be closer to campus for whatever reason, uh, the only classes that are on Gotenyama for study abroad students are like the higher level, like Japanese 5, 6, 7, uh, and 8. So if you're not in any of those, then you'll always be on Nakamiya in probably the Center for International Education. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as what I'm looking forward to, I guess, because I've been here about a week. We've had our first week of classes have elapsed, so I've been kind of getting situated with that. I'm hoping to travel to Kyoto sometime soon. It's pretty close, from my understanding. It's about two hours by, um, or no, Tokyo is two hours by bullet train. I think Kyoto's maybe like two, three hours by bus or something like that, so it's not too far. Uh, Osaka is like this huge region, but we're kind of to the north side, and then Kyoto is to the east, um, so I'll probably head over there. And they just have, um, famous for food, famous, they call themselves the City of Art, um, so I guess they have a lot of like museums, and the most notable thing, at least that I've kind of researched, is their uh, Shinto and Buddhist temples, they have a lot. And the temples, I mean, they call them temples, and they are, but it's also just like parks, and it's really refreshing to see that because... Uh, if you come to Kansai, you'll see that Osaka is very nice, but it is also um, very urban. As, I mean, if you look on Google Maps, you'll see it is a gray morass of, of buildings and concrete. Um, and it's, you know, it's fine. But, you know, getting a little bit of greenery uh, here and there is, is, could be a challenge, I suppose. Um, yeah, and then I guess anything I might advise, uh, definitely... Don't worry about packing light. I, I, like, almost hit the weight limit, and it was definitely worth it to just have everything, to feel extra prepared. There's tons of space in here. I mean, I shouldn't say tons of space, but it was enough to comfortably pack everything away. Um, yeah, I think I'll be in touch. I'll, the next video, I should have, like, a kind of tour around campus and, and see um, the different buildings, maybe walk between campuses. It's about, like, a 10-minute walk, so that's kind of what you can expect, 10, 12 minutes. Uh, and it is really hot when you get here. It should cool off soon, but right now it's like 90 and um, like 80% humidity. So, yeah. <laughs> but see you guys in the next one.